1 Chronicles chapter 26, concerning the divisions of the porters of the Korahites was Meshama, the son of Kore, the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelamiah, were Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebediah the third, Jethneel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehonan the sixth, Elihoniah the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obed Edom were Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sankar the fourth, Nathaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Puothai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also, Shemaiah his son were born that ruled throughout the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Rephiel, and Obed, and Elzabad, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Shemaiah, all these of the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength for the service, were threescore and two of Obed-Edom, and Meshemiah had sons and brethren, strong men, eighteen also, Hosa, and the children of Moriah, the sons of Shemri, the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief. Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosa were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men having wards one against another to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots as well the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah, then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward to Obed-Edom southward, and to his sons, the house of Asipim, to Supim and Hosa, the lot came forth westward with the gate, Shelaketh, by the causeway of the going up, word against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward for a day, southward for a day, and toward Asipim, two and two, at Parber westward, four at, cause, at the causeway, and two at Parber. These are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Cori, and among the sons of Merai, and of the Levites. Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things, as concerning the sons of Laodin, the sons of Gershonite, Laodin chief, fathers even Laodin the Gershonite were Jehiel, the son of Jehiel, Zetham, and Joel his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord, of the Amorites, and of the Isherites, the Hebronites, and the Uzalites, and Shebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures, and his brethren by Eleazar, Rehabiah, his son, and Jeshiah, his son, and Joram, his son, and Zikri, his son, and Shilamith, his son, which Shilamith and his brethren were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and and hundreds, and the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles, did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zerai, had dedicated, and whosoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shelemeth, and of his brethren of the Israelites, Chenaniah, and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges, and of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brethren, men of valor, a thousand and seven hundred were officers among them of Israel on this side Jordan westward in all the business of the Lord and in the service of the king among the Hebronites was Jeriah, 
the chief, even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of his fathers, in the fortieth year of the reign of David, they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Jazer of Gilead, and his brethren, men of valor, were two thousand and seven hundred chief fathers, whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and affairs of the king.